Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to integrate an uh, Azure DevOps pipeline into ALM Octane. So this is basically my pipeline I have in uh, Azure DevOps, which is executing a Maven build, uh, which again executes a few number of test cases uh, based on JUnit and a bit of Selenium and publishing the results. So that's it, nothing more. And on top of it, I've also configured um, a default agent uh, for Azure, which is uh, watching for, uh, listening for jobs and executing if there are any. So let's see if this job is being executed and then we will go into the integration uh, with the LM Okay. So I will just run it now and it should create a new build number, which is number 14. And now it's trying to connect basically um, with the agent. So let's see, self-hosted agent, something is working. So uh, it connected to the agent and now it's checking out the source code, executing the Maven build and publishing the test results. Um, um, it will also execute to Selenium test, which will just launch uh, a browser and go to microfocus.com and um, close the browser again. So here, this is the uh, first one. Um, and now it should enter microfocus.com and close it again. And the second one will do the same. Again, opens the browser, executes microfocus.com and close the browser again. So looks like our pipeline is working. The test cases are being executed. And as a next step, um, I want to show you how to integrate this Azure DevOps pipeline into LM Octane. And for sure, we would like to integrate it into this area, which is the pipelines module of Octane. So before we get started, we need to configure um, the pipeline and download the right uh, CI plugin. So let's go over there. It's under the DevOps section in CI servers. You can see here, you have different uh, download options for Jenkins, Steam City, Bamboo, TFS, GoCD, GitLab, and Azure DevOps in the cloud. So what I will do is I will uh, download the plugin for TFS as my Azure DevOps is an on-premise version, uh, 2019. So let's go here and it should redirect me to the marketplace um, of Microfocus. And if I scroll down, I can see here um, the version I need. I can click on get it and it should download the file directly from GitHub which is good. So once downloaded, extract the file and run the setup.exe file here. As I have already installed it, it should ask me to repair it. You will go to next, next and install. I will for now cancel it because it's already installed on my machine. So let's cancel it here. Once it's installed, you can close it and it will start automatically um, um, the service and it will open the default browser and go to the local installation area, which will be 4567, um, the local service where it is running on the port. And then we need to enter different um, data. So first of all, the ALM Octane um, URL including the workspace we need to enter the client id and client secret let me show you where to get these two um, in alm octane so as i'm currently on my shared and uh, my workspace i need to go to the space level and on that space level i can now go to the api access which is here and on the API access, I can create a new API key with the role CICD. This one gives the project assignment. So we have the right project where this uh, API key should have access to. And then you generate and enter the data of the API key directly in the client ID and client secret. 
And then for Azure DevOps, we need similar things. So we need a personal access token um, and the URL. So the URL is uh, default um, without anything. So it's uh, just the server name HTTP uh, colon slash slash and just the server name and colon and the port name uh, of your Azure DevOps. And that's it. And the personal access token you can generate basically in Azure from your user profile. You go to security. In security, you can see here personal access token. And here you can see I have already two tokens. So the one which ALM Octane CI is the one I will uh, use now for connecting to ALM Octane. So let's do it. I will do a test connection here after you have entered all this. This is something which is defined by the plugin, so don't change it. Uh, it is unique ID for the instance. Uh, you can change it if you want, but leave it its uh, default. Um, it will not harm you. Let's create on, uh, click on uh, test connection. So validation uh, pass. So configuration uh, validated successfully. And now we can go into ALM Octane to see if we are able to see the DevOps, Azure DevOps um, server. So here we can now go to DevOps section. And in the DevOps section, currently we don't have any entry, but now I will enter here a new name. And after you have connected, you should be able to see here your your CI server, which is in this case uh, TFS Azure DevOps on premise. Select this one and edit. And after adding this, uh, you can see it is connected um, in ALM Octane. Um, and I can also directly go from here to the Azure uh, pipelines. However, the next step is to add the pipeline in ALM Octane and run it from Octane. So now you can see it looks a bit different and uh, I get access to this menu. So I will add a pipeline. I can select the CI server, which is connected. And from the CI server, it will extract and get uh, all the pipelines and um, jobs you have configured uh, and will show it. Here, so I have only one job configured in uh, Azure DevOps, so that's why it shows only one. And you can also set other configuration, like for which release is it, for which milestones type of pipeline. So currently, I don't have configured any release milestone or type. So let's click on Save here, and the pipeline is added. So now, every time the pipeline is executed, either from Azure DevOps or from ALM Octane, we will get the info in ALM Octane. So let's run it maybe directly from ALM Octane. So if I hit here on run, you can see it has started. And in Azure DevOps, I should be able to see something is going on. Let's go to the pipelines module. I can see that the pipeline with the number 15 has been started. I will go in on to it. The agent is already connected. It is executing now my uh, test, which I'm running uh, with the Maven. So it's executing the test runner, starting the browser, going to microfocus.com, and closing the browser again. So once all the test cases are executed, um, we will be able to see them in ALM Octane uh, directly. Uh, you will have a summary there and you can assign those test cases to different areas, to different application modules you have defined maybe already in ALM Can You can bring manual testing and automated testing together into one single repository and um, get all the pipeline insights directly embedded in ALM Can. So here it's completed. Here I can see that something is going on still. So let me open everything so we can see here the pipeline jobs. I'll just click on refresh to in order to get the project refreshed. So now I can see 
it has executed all the test cases and I can see also the number of uh, test cases which are failed. I'm not sure what happens here. Yeah, now it's uh, refreshed. Two test cases are failed and I can see them here. I also see if I click here on the report, I can see the uh, stack trace, why the um, test cases failed. Here the same, so a calculation was false. Um, I was expecting uh, two and we received four. So this is how we will get all the test artifacts in um, ALM Octane. And this can be very useful as we are also capturing the whole history of an execution run. If these runs again and again, so it will, um, you will get some very nice uh, capabilities uh, in ALM Octane. Also, when it comes to analytics and execution reports, uh, problematic tests and so on. Um, but that was the integration uh, we wanted to show you, um, which is completed um, with this execution of the pipeline. Um, yeah, that's it from my side. Thank you.